to me and listen to me real good. I've told you once, I said it a thousand times. You get out of those pagan, satanic, religious, Christian churches. Christians do not follow the commandments of the Bible. Christians do what they want to do. They make up their own laws, their own rules, and their own regulations. Come out of her, my people, and come out from among them. And it's real simple and easy to ascertain who are these people you need to come out from. Easy. Number one, if they keep Sunday, that's an automatic sign that you need to not have any fellowship with these commandment-breaking, wicked deceivers and seducers and bewitchers of the truth. Simple. I testify only to the sisters, to the women. I start my journey years ago. I remember um, pastor said a word. He said, you will all come to a crossroad in your walk. <clears throat> and I hung on to that because it didn't make any sense to me considering I had already stepped into the faith. And I didn't realize there was another crossroads to make. And so here we are, fast forwarded years later, and I can feel and sense, and anyone with discernment can, that many souls are in a crossroad, as well as my own. Living here, for the sisters out there, doesn't spare you. And as the Most High, I was um, with child, and he began to convict my soul to change who I was as a woman he wasn't teaching me how to be a mother and that threw me off and I started to hear the word differently and I started to um, to see myself and for those of you who have any form of discernment you can see a Jezebel if you're a woman you know you can see a Jezebel and I prided myself on the volume of my voice my ability to flatter my confidence in basketball. Uh, we all have our testimonies, women. We all have why we are who we are. We all have a reason why we don't follow a man, why we are a, more than a man. And I couldn't see why submitting myself to my husband was submitting myself to Christ. It made no sense to me because I was already submitted to Christ. And I couldn't see that serving him any different would be for my own soul salvation and so when my soul got to this crossroads just within the past few months of my life and I started to really kick and rebel within my my inward man such as many women are doing right now I feel it we see it and I could hear the word I could hear him preaching towards Jezebel and and um, it was pricking me and I was kicking and I'm I'm sober enough to know when I kick and it didn't make any sense to me and I was not willing to change everything that I had become as a 31 year old to submit myself unto the ways of the Most High that no matter where this journey takes me, no matter where this Torah takes me I had to commit myself to the ways of the Father and so he led me to fast and he, and he told me when to fast and it was a lot and he told me the specific days and so I was confused because I like to eat and so I said, well, please let it come from my husband. So the very next day, my husband said the exact same words to me that the Father had put in my spirit and the exact same days. So I started my fasting journey. And when I, I knew setting forth the fast that it was to break my will. And I once again testify to you sisters that your will is not stronger than mine. You're not beyond reach. You just have to submit yourself. And so I knew, I knew I needed to. So here we go. And just yesterday, just yesterday, I saw myself and I saw who I really was. After obeying the fasting, I had pretty much given up. I'd given up praying. To my shame, I'd given up praying. I said, forget it. I was kicking that hard. And I wasn't willing to change who I was, and so such as the fast was needed. 
And I was, you know, I haven't been getting, given any words of encouragement by the Most High through all this because I was rebelling. He's not going to edify or comfort rebelling. And yesterday, just washing dishes, I heard it loud and clear in my spirit, my ways are not your ways. And it broke me. And I see me, shamefully, <laughs> as he sees me. And I thank him for his mercy, because my husband's not deserving. Neither are your husbands deserving out there. And my life, my walk with the king just got real narrow, just like that. And so I testify that I've overcome by the blood of the lamb. And you won't see me the way you've always seen me, saints. Everything about me has changed just like that. And I praise him for it. And I hope that for all of you who are at the crossroads, if you could just... If you could just give it all to him, it's the most pain you'll ever experience, but I've never felt the peace I feel after you accept the pain. So praise his name. Thank you. Look at him looking. <laughs>